Oh, hey, this is Kibbles. I'm collaborating with Master of Blackjack to bring you the best of the best tell-all recap. So let's see what we get into on part one. All of the couples show up in person to the tell-all, except Tariq and Hazel, and Amira, which we'll talk about later. Oh yeah, and Stephanie and Ryan didn't come. Or is it Stephanie and Harris? Or Stephanie and her sidekick? It looks like one of Tariq and Hazel's many girlfriends could have given them COVID, so they are quarantining. Still in the house together, you know, but we're just in different bedrooms. Wow, that, that has to be really tough. Hazel, how are you feeling? I feel like I'm in the jail. <laughs> Sean starts with Natalie and Mike. We spent a season and a half of Natalie wanting her ring, but now she shows up to the tell-all without it? Who believes that Natalie left her ring back home so it wouldn't get stolen? Just raise your hand. Okay, oh wait, you actually got, you actually got like almost half. Mike explains why he woke up the morning of the wedding and changed his mind. I got into my own head. I went down to the river, and I was gone for about five or six hours. I was just not ready to get married that day. It was the night before the wedding, and Natalie thought he was cheating when he disappeared. I mean, truthfully, Eliza, it's night. I'm asking Tamara, where is Mike? And she said, I don't know. I'm asking Uncle Bo, where is Mike? And she says, I don't know. Your phone doesn't answer. Jovi gives Mike advice about how to act appropriately the night before a wedding. Yara watches the video of Jovi at his bachelor party for the very first time. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Yara, at the beginning of that clip, you guys were holding hands. Jovi gets asked to describe what happens during a private lap dance. Who asks that and who doesn't already know? Every guy in here knows what happens in a private lap What's dance. Discuss things like politics, you know, physics. All yeah. above board. <laughs> Nothing crazy happens. Jovi's mom pops in all of a sudden and acts shocked by Jovi's behavior. No need to do that right before you get married. Julia, who is actually a dancer, tells Brandon that she would kill him if he did that. Yep, if you go club, this strippers, Brandon, I kill you. I know. And she says that with Yara right next to her. Jovi, I say like, yeah. I'm, I'm like not judging him. I mean like, I understand uh, him, but like if him go, I kill him. I mean like, I'm just pissed off if him do this. Julia. I'm so all over this topic. Brandon's mom explains why she was involved in Julia's birth control. We knew that talking with them, that they didn't want to have children right away. She said that she wanted to wait two or three years. So let them figure it out. But know this, it's awkward and weird. And Julia doesn't want a baby because she has a dog. I'm feeling like sometime I'm really want baby, sometime. But now I have like dog and like 24 hours. <laughs> I think your dog is not a baby, Julia. Uh, Mike's mom spills the beans. Michael was thinking about calling this off, and Michael called me and said that he was going to call off this wedding. Apparently, Mike bought Natalie a plane ticket to try to get rid of her. What was the logic? Your mom said you no, want to three send days, me home. Three days, the same day, the same day was, you left. I don't understand. And I guess his mom also tried to stop the wedding. And she asked me if I would stand up. And when the preacher asks if anybody here disagrees that they shouldn't get married. Mike's mom wishes that they had not gotten married and they're clearly not eating enough butter. Rebecca has a problem with Mike's mom being weary of their wedding. Whoa. <laughs> that. Remember, we watched her kids boss her around for two seasons. You had your nose down. Yes, I did. Yes. And for years ago, I was doing my leaps too. The cast argues about plastic surgery because that's an important issue in the world today. People yeah. are just like more lazy and don't want to do nothing not for true. body. I put 10 how? kilos, I put the kilos, and I might know how exercise. And the same if you have a problem with your hormones, you can't fix it by going to the gym. And Zied loves Rebecca's younger body. I am for you, all my life for you. You are all mine. I hope you enjoyed this MOB Kibbles collab. Y'all done? We'll be back next week for part two.